We've gone through flanges, but there's even more. Let's cover some of the more particular tools that we can use when creating flanges. This is the part we were working on in the last video, and let's say I wish to add more flanges. I'll go up to my flange button here, and I can add a flange right along this edge, and another flange right along that edge, and you can start to see a problem. These two flanges are taking up the same space, and I can even generate a flat pattern with it, but this is not realistic at all to have two flanges that intersect with each other in this way. What can we do about that? Well, I think the simple solution is to edit our flange here, and we'll select corners over here, and we'll choose miter. And with miter, we can set a gap between the two flanges so that when we go to flatten them, we don't intersect. There's some options associated with miter. Of course, I'll disengage my flat pattern and then I'll be able to edit. And when we go through this, we can set our gap width, right? I can say 0.001. I can have them go really close together if I wish. And we're one thousandth apart there. I also, maybe I'll go more reasonable and go 0.05, but I also can choose details about the relief that I have. So if I, I can go here and you can see how we change the kind of relief that we're working with. So between these values, you can have different reliefs for whatever you think is best to do. Now when I say OK, I can attempt to add another flange right here. And when I go to corners, you'll see that miter is grayed out. So when we go to miter flanges, all of the flanges that we're going to miter have to be made at the same time in order for this to work. So be sure to make all of your flanges at the same time when you choose miter. Also, if your flange length is too long, you may run into an error where not all the flanges are generated. So I suggest uh, going with a bit of a smaller value to make sure that all the flanges can be generated. Lastly, I may wish to uh, make another kind of flange here. I'll use this side as an example. Perhaps I'm making a flange here, and we'll bump that up to one. But let's say that I wish to have a different gap than I have currently. Well, after I make my flange, I have some options to address the kind of corners or gaps that I have. And that would be with this tool here called Closed Corner. And what I do is I select an edge right here, and then it finds how to close this corner. And right now we're just closing it edge to edge. Uh, and that is a great way to do it, right? If you need to make a weld or something, but you also can change it so that one edge goes the length of another edge and you can kind of butt up the faces like that. You can also do uh, the other side just like that. So there are some great options to be able to close corners fully as well. And that's how we make flanges. We're going to cover some new tools in the next video.